They spend more time on a tennis court than the players, but there's no chance to sit down or to get some shade during a changeover. For the Rogers Cup ball kids, there's always work to be done. They manage all of the players' on-court essentials throughout the match, picking up the balls and distributing them as well as towels, additional water, supplies, or a racket restring. We take care of that as well throughout the match. The current crop of ball kids realize how fortunate they are to interact with the best tennis players in the world. Being on court with the players is just a big thing. You're like you get the best seat to watch the match. But that doesn't mean the job doesn't have its challenges. It's definitely exhausting to do it. You sometimes have four matches back to back. They could be three setters. It's just physically tiring. Tennis Canada holds tryouts every spring for potential ball kids. There are certain qualities that are non-negotiable. Passion is huge. With passion comes hustle and desire. Harder skills such as throwing, catching, we can train those, we can teach those, but kids who really want to be here and love being on court really makes a great ball kid. The age cutoff for the ball kid program is 19, but Tennis Canada has given me special dispensation to be a ball man in an actual match today. And showing me the ropes will be 12 year old Julia. Now, Julia, this is kind of like that episode of Seinfeld when Kramer was a ball boy at the US Open. What's Seinfeld? It started off easy enough. It was stressful being so close to the players. I started to get the hang of it. Oh. My hand-eye coordination came in handy. Julia, how, how am I doing so far? How am I doing? Okay. My baseball career proved useful, while Julia kept me on track. What's that? Take the balls from me. Thank you, Julia. You're taking me? Yeah, so, so I just go straight out? Okay, thanks. It was a lot of fun, but I'd better leave things to these young professionals. Mike Arsenault, Global News.